Hey friends, it's me, the Sunlight Oracle. I'm a psychic medium based in Los Angeles, and today I wanna to talk about five influential books that have helped me on my first year of psychic development. While I believe that meditation is the absolute foundation of psychic development, I believe that reading and being a lifelong student of the art is just as important. Books are full of information, and when you feel alone, which the spiritual path is lonely, books can console us, they can lead us, they can guide us and help us understand ourselves a lot better. So the first book that is a very popular book is Psychic Witch by Matt Oren. And Matt's philosophy here is that psychics, people who read and perceive energy, and witches, people who manipulate energy and manipulate energy for the good of themselves and others, have a lot to learn from one another. So the first half of the book is really about the foundations of psychic development. And while some of you who are still listening or interested in psychic development may already know a lot of what Matt describes, there's so much detail and it's so accessible and it's written in a way that is totally devoid of gatekeeping. So um, again, I identify mostly as a psychic, but I was fascinated by the theory of witchcraft, the theories within witchcraft, protection spells, spell casting. Uh, there's just so much to learn and it's really, it almost reads like a philosophy book at a certain point. So this is a great place to start if you're just like, I don't know anything um, and it will definitely supplement any strong meditation practice. The second book I have here is called Psychic Tarot by Craig June Julis. This is a thin little book and it's actually meant to be a companion book to the Aquarian Tarot, which is a deck that was designed by David Palladini in 1970. It's like an Art Nouveau, Art Deco style. And you know, if you're working with the Aquarian Tarot, great, this is great for you. However, the reason I include it is because the beginning, the first, I don't know, 30, more like, yeah, 40 <laughs> pages here, are full of really basic psychic information and how tarot and reading tarot actually unlocks certain psychic powers. I'm talking about the clairs, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience. And that was all happening to me. As you know, tarot cards have been my gateway into the psychic world, but I didn't know what was happening. And I only wish I had found this book sooner. So I feel like I want to share it with anyone who again is at the beginning and is maybe reading Aquarian Tarot or maybe just wants to again learn more about um, psychic development, clairs, chakras, how to handle clients. Like there's so much great information in this tiny book and um, yeah, it's a classic. What I have here is Healing Pluto Problems by Donna Cunningham. Donna Cunningham is an astrologer and she's also a psychologist and she allows these two fields to inform one another. For all of my fellow Plutonians out there, that is people who were born with Pluto in your first house in your natal birth chart, this book rules. <laughs> Actually, it rules for anyone, anyone who has Pluto in their chart, which is literally every single human being. Um, the book is full of exercises for resolving trauma, also lots of astrology if you're into that but I just think that everyone should be in good working order before they begin working professionally with clients. And Donna Cunningham's dual background is really informative to those of us who are developing psychically. And I just can't recommend this book enough. Book number four. What I have here is Psychic Self-Defense by Dion Fortune. At the beginning of my psychic development, I was scared. I didn't know what was happening. I was up all night. I felt like spirits were maybe trying to get my attention. At times I didn't want them to get my attention. And I was seeking consolation in books. And I found this book and it is pretty controversial, okay? Some people love it. Some people don't like it so much because the author here, Dion Fortune, was a victim of um, a psychic attack and most of the book, if not like 70 to 80% of it, is um, there, there are anecdotes about people who have suffered at the hands of psychic attacks. So if you think you might be undergoing a psychic attack, this can be kind of triggering, to be honest. But the last um, four chapters here, methods of defense, diagnosis of the nature of an attack, there, there is practical knowledge, there is practical wisdom here. 
And again, for anyone who is kind of freaked out, I think that this is a good book to sort of understand the darker nature of the art. Okay, and now I have the fifth book, which is The Medium's Book by Alan Kardec. But it's not really by Alan Kardec, he just compiled all of these writings um, that were dictated to automatic writers and mediums um, from spirits themselves about how they like to be addressed, about how a medium can be the best medium possible. It was originally in French, it's been translated, and there's also a companion book called The Spirits Book that does the same thing without, you know, mediums, humans, um, as the focal point. But this book is really dense and it's intense. But again, if you are going through a pretty wild psychic development, which it can be, as I know, um, this book can, again, offer you some consolation. It can offer you some validation. And it can also offer you some instruction. For instance, let me see here. One of my favorite chapters, chapter 26, questions that may be addressed to spirit. And it gives you sort of this like really old school, very logical way of addressing spirits, almost like a proof, you know what I mean? And like how to honor them, um, how to not offend them, how to take mediumship as something beyond a party trick, how to make it and honor it with a high moral tone. It's a very serious practice and this book is what made me realize that and treat it as such. So there you have five books that have assisted me in my psychic development. And the most magical thing about reading um, for occult purposes or for psychic development is that these books, every time you pick them up off the shelves, you will learn something new, even if you've read it cover to cover. It seems like these books have a way of the text morphing while they're on the shelves. And if you know, <laughs> you know. Uh, one other thing that I think is worth mentioning uh, in all occult and in all magical texts that I read is that they are rife with typos. And this used to drive me crazy when I first started reading tarot books and stuff. But what I realized as someone who has done automatic writing and has worked with spirits through writing is that there's a way that these typos indicate our humanity, the humanity of the medium. And so if you're like me and you're noticing all of that, just roll with it because I think there is a very sincere and intentional purpose for it. And that's all I wanted to say about that. So thanks for stopping in. I have all kinds of tarot readings on this channel and also other informative videos. So please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and uh, I appreciate your time. Have a great day.